Okay, so this is a board from the President's Cup, and uh, I was playing with Andy Green, ABG123, and myself here as West. Okay, so the bidding proceeded one club, which shows um, could just be a two card suit and an opening hand. Because we play a strong no trump, we can't open it, um, and I call one no trump. Okay. And we play five card majors. So we open one club. This hand over calls one spade. And then I double uh, for takeout. Okay, I've got a four card heart suit and five card diamond suit. So pretty uh, normal double. This hand then bids three spades, which is a weak hand. Um, you, could, you could bid all sorts of things like clubs or, or something else like that to show a good raise in spades. So, this three spades is just a weak bid. Okay, and then partner passes because he's just got a, a bog standard weak no trump and uh, I've only promised uh, that I'm happy to go to sort of two hearts or something. So he's a minimum, so he can't do anything over three spades. This hand then passes because the partner's weak and the spade suit is pretty grotty. It's also got a lack of aces. Okay. And then I decide to double because I quite like my hand. I've got a singleton spade. Partner may have a double of um, three spades. And I've got two aces and a decent five card suit and even supporting clubs if partner's got a, a natural club suit. So we're also non-vulnerable as well. So um, there's less danger in, in going several off or something. So I double and partner then decides to now bid four hearts he's got four hearts and uh we're playing four hearts so the opening lead is the king of clubs so partner's now got to look at dummy and look at the lead and see if he can make 10 tricks what's the best play to make 10 tricks so on the opening lead of the king of clubs they bid spades but they've played the king of clubs usually the king of clubs says that you got king queen and you've only got five clubs so there's no reason to to doubt that you know there's no reason to think this hand might have lots of clubs in it it's possible but uh, it looks like a, a standard lead of the king of clubs from king queen say and what else have you got they've overcalled a spade and it's likely that this spade is going to be a five card suit and most people overcall five card suits um but some people can overcall one club with one spade on a four card seat but it's unlikely in this position because <clears throat> because you're missing so many um they're missing so many good cards they're missing the ace of spades the jack of spades you're more likely to overcall one spade with a decent uh, quality uh spade suit so uh it's unlikely this is a four card suit so you're looking at a five card spade suit so you go with the ace of uh, clubs <clears throat> and the partner plays the two. Now, they're playing upside down count and attitude. So that's the uh, UDCA. So what that means is when you play the two, because they're playing upwards, that now shows an even number of clubs. And I've got no reason to dispute uh, that they'll be lying here. Okay, there'd be no reason to, to lie about their count. Okay, it's useful for their partner to know, especially when they lead the king of clubs here, and you can see this dummy. Okay, so there's no reason to lie about that. So I, it looks like this is going to be a four-card uh, club suit. Okay, you've got eight missing, so it's likely they're breaking four-four. Okay, so that's the first thing. So straight away now, you can start getting a picture of the hand, five spades and four clubs. So that means there's likely to be four red cards. Okay. And you obviously just play low. So now you decide to tackle the hearts. And you're thinking that there's four red cards missing. So let's say you make a mistake here. The, the, the correct play in this position would actually be to take a finesse. Because you, you're missing, this hand holds four red cards. So there's a possibility that this has a singleton heart. Now, with a singleton heart, okay, so if they are 4-1, then if you're 
if you're thinking about what singleton that might be, you've got the four, five, the six, and the jack and the queen missing. So there's a 40% chance, okay, that the singleton is an honor. So there's two cards, there's the jack and the queen, okay, out of the five, which could be an honor. So two out of five is 40%. So therefore, if you want to play for a 4-1 part break, it's actually right um, to play a finesse here and go for this hand holding queen, jack, xx, let's say. Okay, so that would be a good play to do that. Okay, but what I'm going to suggest is, well, I'm just going to say that you're going to play it wrong. Okay, so technically you're going to play this hand wrong at this point. Okay, so you go in with the ace and you put up the queen. Okay, so technically we've played this wrong. And, and this, this can happen. It's bridge. You know, if you're playing a lot of hands, say, you can easily make these mistakes. Um, it's not a massive error, but it is an error. Um, if, if there's a 60% chance um, that you're playing it wrong, okay, um, you know, you, you want to be the 60% chance that you're playing it right rather than the 60, 40 the other way, okay? So we've played it wrong here, but now the queen's popped up. So you've got to start thinking um, what's going on here. Yeah, are they 4-1? If the three two, then this contract's probably not a problem. But are they four? Are they four one? Or does this hand hold queen jack of hearts? Okay. So we've got an idea that there's five spades and four diamonds. And so therefore, there's likely to be three diamonds in the south hand. So what I uh, profess that you should play now. It's because likely that there's uh, longer diamonds in the south hand and likely that there's a king of diamonds in the south hand because the fact is that um, south has bid, north has bid weakly, okay? So what I'm suggesting you play here is play the queen of diamonds. Now, you play the queen of diamonds as opposed to the nine of diamonds because you're, you're thinking or you're testing rather if this hand here has a singleton diamond. Now, if they've got a doubleton diamond, then the likelihood is you're going to lose the diamond trick. But if the diamonds are 3 1 and you suspect that this hand holds the king of diamonds, then there is a possibility the north hand holds the singleton jack of diamonds. Okay, so this hand could have queen 4 2. Now, if this hand does have the singleton jack of diamonds, by playing the queen, okay, well, you play the queen and you cover with the king. And then you play the ace. Now, if this hand does have the single jack, now you see it's crashing down and you've got all solid diamonds then. Okay? Now, it isn't the case, but it doesn't matter. Now you play another diamond. So you play a diamond and this hand could rough it. Or what's it likely to do? It's probably going to rough it because he thinks this hand's got the queen jack of diamonds and you think, well, I might as well rough it. And so you do, let's put in a nine just to sort of unblock a bit. Okay, and then you come back to clubs. Um, let's play a highish club now. Now let's play the six back. Put in the jack, and you cash the queen of clubs. Okay, play a high one, and you rough it. Okay, and now you just play a diamond. You know the jack of diamonds is out. You just got to lose that diamond. So. May as well play it. Put a low on. Okay, and uh, play that. And now this hand's got nothing else to do but to uh, play fourth highest spade. Hope partner's got the ace. He doesn't. Okay, and then you simply have to get back into dummy. Now, obviously, if you play a diamond, you're going to be off. This hand's rough, rough in it. You can't play a heart. Okay, so you've got to think of um, how the cards are lying. So the, the bidding's gone. <clears throat> one club, one spade. And then it's led a club. And on the king of clubs, this hand played the two of clubs. So we can work out this has got probably got five spades because of the overcall. It's got 
four clubs because the partner's giving count, they're playing upside down count and attitude. So if we work out it's got five, four, and we can definitely know that it's got three diamonds because that's how they broke. So five, four, three, there's only one heart left. So now we know to take the heart finesse. So we've got to get back over to dummy. Pretty safe to play a spade. And we can do that. A trumpet. And then we just play a heart and we duck it. Okay. Play a diamond, get back in, overtake, and game over. 10 tricks. So technically, we played it wrong to begin with, but then we played it nicer. We worked out by playing the cards and having to think about the bidding, having to think about how they defend, looking at what they, what cards they discard. This is what's really important when you're playing against decent opposition to have a look at the pips, see what they're playing, ask questions, ask what system they're playing if you're not sure. If they're playing standard count or upside down count and attitude, all these things. And you've got to think, are they likely to give the right count in these situations or are they going to be telling lies or not giving proper count necessarily? So all of these clues can help you piece together a hand in order for you to play out the hand the correct way. Okay, so you put your Sherlock Holmes uh, cap on and you can work things out. So I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, see you on the next one.